Hi, this is Greg in Pensacola, Florida. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Tonight is part 11 of the modular end build with Hearst Arts Molds. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome you back to the uh, channel and tonight's video. We're uh, working on the kitchen and the cellar and I'm happy to say that uh, we've completed both rooms. It took a little bit longer than I thought. I had some stuff come up family-wise that I had to take care of this week so I kind of knocked off uh, a little bit of the building but more of the video editing time. I just didn't have that big block of time to uh, work on splicing all these little pieces of video together and stuff like that to make the one main video but I'm happy to say the two rooms are done we're gonna move on to page three of this build so just a quick overview of what we did or what we're doing in this video on here this is gonna be one of the larger rooms so this is gonna be the kitchen we're gonna on page three we're actually gonna build the ovens and things that are go in that are going to go into the kitchen so I didn't do up really any accessory pieces or anything like that for this week but so we we had one long outer wall and then right here on this wall you'll see these uh, this blue shaded part this is where we put uh, two shelving units in so it'll have three sets of shelves that later on we're gonna put a bunch of stuff in we've got an entranceway door and then we just had like a, a low ruined wall on the edge of the kitchen on there. I don't know, it looks pretty good when it's done. Also on the floor, we, uh, we cut out one of the holes because this is going to be our entrance down to our cellar in the kitchen. And we also use some of the, uh, the stone block in addition to the wooden floor. So back here is where the, uh, the kitchen pieces themselves are going to sit. So the ovens and things like that are going to sit on top of the stone. But it was, it was a nice little variation when it was done. And then the cellar. The cellar was pretty simple. Four walls, obviously, and it was all stone block. And basically it looks just like this when it's done. It's gray. It's a uh, just a hollowed out room. So uh, without further ado, we'll head on into the build. I did record the uh, building of the uh, walls for the kitchen itself. The cellar, I've got screenshots, I think, that I'm going to put into the video. And obviously the finished pictures I'll put into the video, but I I ended up doing that room later on because at first I thought I was just going to film and do the kitchen, but I just wanted to get this done really quick, so I just went ahead, put it together, and painted, primed, and so it's ready to go. So we're ready to move on to week three as soon as this video is over. So I'll be back in a little bit and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so we start with the build. Uh, what I'm starting with, I think, I believe is the longest piece. This is going to have the uh, the small windows in it on the arch. And I tell you, there, it was an exercise in patience on a couple of these walls. I don't know. It, the plans were fine. Um, I don't know if the time lapse is really going to come across with it, but there was a couple pieces that were just stubborn. Um, I think it was some of the corner pieces that I was trying to put together at the same time. Just being a little difficult on there, but this long piece went together pretty good. And uh, this is where I talked about in the last video where I start building it vertically. And then at the end, you're going to see me flip it on its, uh, on its back, basically to press all the blocks down flat against that hobby mat. And that'll help with the uh, ensuring, ensuring that the walls are straight. So right here, I'm putting the window arches in. These are like half inch, half inch window arches. So this wall came out pretty good. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty on the box, uh, on the box, the blocks. Uh, my boxes are getting very empty, uh, so I know I'm coming up towards the end of the project. I'm completely out of three inch blocks right now, so um, I think a couple places in here I needed to put a three inch block and I, I ran out, so you know, I use a two inch and a one inch and adjust it. You know, that all works fine. Uh, here's one of the smaller pieces. This, I believe, is going to be one of the corners. And that's going to be the corner for that long piece. Oh no, it's not. This is going to be the uh, the wall that contains the bookshelves. Those small pieces you see me throwing out there are the uh, the half, basically half width pieces. So I'm going to build this back piece, and this is what the two bookshelves are going to see. So I 
build the flat in the back and then I rotate the uh, those small blocks upwards that gives you a lip for the uh, the board to sit on and then here I can't remember if this is where it actually tried to stick to my mat a little bit I do try to slide them around but if you look over to the left now you'll see it's upright and drying I try to let them tack up laying on their back but then I like to lift it up so it doesn't actually uh, harden and stick to the mat and then I pull it up and it's you know, a really thin wall like that has the potential to break at the uh, joint. I need just some pretty basic pieces here. You know, there's nothing, nothing out of the ordinary going on. You know, so uh, just using up the last of my blocks. You're seeing a lot of white being mixed in now. These are from the demolding videos and just using up a little bit of that leftover uh, three years old Merlin's Magic. I do need to cast some floor tiles coming up. I do talk about that later on in the uh, the finished part of the video where I show the finished product because I look, ran, I'm about five casts short but um, so I'm going to break that out, I'm going to cast that. What's nice is I have five more molds in from Herstar. So I've got five new uh, demolding videos so I can uh, pour those while I'm doing the, uh, the floor tiles that I'm short on. So we'll have a, a bunch of midweek videos that I can put out too with these uh, demolding. So right here, this is a small corner piece and that arch is actually going to reach over to the door opening on the other side and sit on it so you build one piece here and then the other wall comes across you see to the left that little ledge that's where that arch is going to sit when it's dry um, so these right here these are the finished just snapshots of the finished wall pieces after they dried and that's that doorway I was telling you about and that's where the bookshelves are going to go and that was the first wall we built with the three uh, small windows on it. And this right here is the, uh, the doorway put together. And this is the cellar. So I don't have any painting videos of this, but these are just some pictures that I took of the walls for the cellar. So that's a really basic room, three by five. It's, yeah. So that went together really quick. Now we move into the dry brushing. And this is the two color dry brush method that I've talked about in the other videos. I do use the Olympic paint with the paint and primer. I found that it seems to be holding up pretty good. Um, later on down the road, when we start using this, um, actually in some games, I'll report back and see how that stuff holds up. It wasn't, it's only a dollar more than what the Walmart brand was without the primer in it. And so I like the Valspar paints, I like the Olympic paints, you know, so I spent the extra buck on the quartz. The base colors, uh, I've hardly used any paint. The browns, matter of fact, I have not had to go because I use like little uh, sealed Tupperware containers that I put them in. The browns, I took some paint out at the beginning, like three ounces out of each color, and I haven't. the uh, The base coat's getting a little low, so I, this whole project's taken like almost three ounces of the base coat brown. But the other two colors, I haven't even touched. The gray, the gray I did have to, uh, the gray base coat I have refilled. So I've probably used about seven ounces out of the can, you know, and they're uh, quart cans. So, you know, probably seven or eight ounces. So really the paint's going a long way. So spending the extra dollar on the Olympic paint to get a better quality paint, I think is pretty good. And these are the hallways. Those are the hallways I just knocked out and uh, <laughs> gabbed through that whole thing. And that was a really quick just dry brushing the... Uh, that strip on the uh, the kitchen floor. So now we move on to dry brushing the walls and this is the piece where the bookshelves are going to go. Looking forward to doing the uh, demoldings on those new molds because that's going to finish out a set of molds for uh, a project that we're going to do. So I'll have everything I need to do for that project. It'll be a pretty big project. I was talking to a friend of mine um, 
this week, and I do a lot of War Machine tournaments. We travel. We go to War Machine weekend. We do stuff like that. But I saw I wanted to get back into traveling to some of the more local cons because I do miss playing. You know, I used to play Flames of War, Bolt Action, you know, stuff like that. But I started with like D and D minis competitively. You know, so there's a lot of little cons that are running around. Like one this weekend is up at HubCon. So right now, my thought process, you know, that's happening now. I've got one year from now. I would like to... Obviously, we're going to finish the inn because we're almost there. And the Gothic Dungeon. I do want to do the Gothic Dungeon project. And so that's going to take some time. But I would like the inn, the Gothic Dungeon, maybe a few other pieces to make a massive... If not a 4x8, two 4x8 tables. And now we're starting to... Uh, the last highlight color so that's what's going on right now so you're seeing the same pieces again but to get back to go to a smaller convention like hubcon take two four by eight tables of this her starts stuff and then just do a just a light rule set like i said i'll probably use the descent rules with an rpg theme on top just make a not use anything out of their books just write a campaign let them do the encounters but they can pick their characters We'll paint a bunch of figures up. I think it'd be a good time. I think laying out that much terrain at a convention will look really, really good. Um, I can lay out 4 by 8 easy, pretty easy here at my house. And then I could actually do a second 4 by 8 table here in my house for another half of it. So I could actually lay all this out. And so this is the finish. This is the finished walls prior to painting. So I took some pictures because I do like to try and dry fit the stuff. And uh, this is where I go and correct anything now that I find wrong or maybe doesn't fit together perfectly. But, you know, here we go. And welcome back. All right, in front of us we've got the, uh, the finished kitchen. And just like the plan showed, it's a pretty big room. We've got one, two, three, four. It's a five by five by seven room so it's one of our larger rooms yeah we, we've done a bunch of three by fives and one room larger than this we do have the uh, uh cut out right here and then we've got a doorway right here so i'll tip this up so you can actually see all four walls again we have the cut out that goes down to the cellar and uh, right back here is where we're going to build all the pieces that are going to go on here like the ovens and things like that I think there's two ovens there's gonna be a table in there and stuff like that but that's all part of uh, the page three of the mold again we got plenty of room for figs so I'm dropping my ghoul in there I mean this is a pretty big room you could do a decent encounter in here you also have the uh, the RPG element of the open floor where they can go off to somewhere else so I'll spin this around real quick so you can see all four sides so we're looking right there then back here is the two cabinets. And right here we got the three windows. These came out looking pretty nice. And again, everything we got the uh, two layers of highlights on the floor, three layers of highlights on the wall. I did two layers of highlights on the on the bookshelves also. So this room is ready to go. And then the last room I have to show you, this is the cellar. Four walls, stone floor. Um, I do have a little you know, piece representing the ladder. It can go here on the short wall, or we can put a second piece and maybe put it over here on the long wall. We're going to outfit this out. This, is the, this type of room is that video I told you about that I'm just going to paint, talk, just let it run for an hour, you know, however long it needs to run. But... Um, that we'll fill this up with barrels, sacks of grain, all kinds of stuff. But this is this room went together really quick, so yeah, you know, it's yeah, looks the same almost on every side. So you know, not a whole lot going on here, but it does hold your piece nice. You get two, three pieces down in here, and uh, really excited that we're done with that page two of the document. So all of the rooms right now are built. Um, so. You know, now let me pull the uh, tablet over. Let's see. Oh, hallways. Hold on. Let me reach over the table here. We're supposed to make four of each one of these. So I did make one. 
I do believe this is in the video on there. Um, the part where I'm painting, I, yeah, because I record the beginning and the end, and then I go back and I do the commentary after I get all the video together. So I'm about 99% sure this was in the painting part. Yeah, so I've got a 2x4, uh, a 2x2, two two, you know, so that piece is right here. And so these pieces, you know, what's going to end up happening is they're going to they're gonna butt up here, you know, so something can come out of a room. There'll be another room down maybe on the other side, and then we're going to build end blockers that would actually turn this into a hallway by putting a um, piece down at this end or down at this end. So there's a lot of options. You know, you can put them together and make it longer, you know, so it stretches down the whole thing. And then I could, you know, take something like this, put it over here, and then I would put two wall blockers down here. So this would give you an actual a hallway between the two rooms that you know your figures can travel and stuff like that and you have field stone end blockers that would also go right here at the end so it all flow together as one nice piece so um, that's where we're at so now let's look on page three of the build so what I did run into let me clear off all these notifications what I did run into is I ran short on blocks so I have a bunch of blocks to do these two long pieces here, this uh, six by two, but I don't have enough blocks to do the balcony because in the balcony I've got one complete block and then two half blocks. I mean I'm short like three casts, four casts of the uh, the floor tile mold. So I'm going to do that this week. I'm just going to cast those out one night, throw them in the dehydrator, they'll be ready to go. So this isn't going to hold us up hardly at all. Um, when I am, wow, that light's right in the middle of there. All right. Uh, so if I come down here, looks like the next thing we're going to work on is the balcony. So we're going to have a long stretch of floor tiles. One, two, three, four. It's going to be eight by two, and then we're going to put uh, the balcony around. So when we're done, when we come back next time, I should have this done. And then we're going to look at the pillars because we can raise some of the bedrooms and things like that. So we're going to build those pillars. Those shouldn't take any time at all. And then I think I might start on the stairs. We'll see how far we get on here because I do want to try and get a video out um, next Sunday night also on there. So I'm going to try and get to the stairs. Uh, I'd like to do the circular stair if I can get it done and maybe move on to the two-level straight stair that's right here. So, but... I'm happy to be on page three. We're going to try and knock out these first three elements up at the top, so our balcony, our pillars, and our stairs. And then after that, we start moving into the, um, let's get past all these stairs. Now we start moving into the wall ends, the aisle blockers. So here, you know, we're going to start doing this stuff later. So over the course of the next, I'm going to say three weeks, maybe we'll be done with all the building on here four weeks probably at the very farthest so you know there, there's a lot of pieces down here that's going to come in so it, this is what's going to end up going in the kitchen right here so we're gonna we're gonna build all this we're gonna paint all these up and we're gonna put that in there so it's gonna be a lot of fun i appreciate you guys watching appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel i do pick up subscribers every week which is nice and i appreciate you guys commenting and sharing the videos out so this is Greg down in Pensacola saying thank you for hanging in for all 11 parts, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.